This is my dad, Joe. He's been a trad climber since he was 16, but recently he decided he wanted to get into bouldering and asked if I could coach him. I said yes, of course, because who wouldn't take the opportunity to boss their dad around? I decided the best thing to do was to pick a project outside for him to work towards as a goal. The one I chose was tormented evaporation, a classic lip traverse in the Ogwen that requires techy heel hooks for the first half and burly moves for the second. It's a banger. But before getting him on the boulder, I had my dad train on my wall at home for a while just to get his climbing fitness up to scratch. I also had him do some stretching. He really didn't like it. Oh. Right, time to get on some rock. In his first session, Dad really struggled with the heel hooks. He just has no experience of using them and I had to keep reminding him to rotate his foot outwards so as to get a better grip on the rock. Oh, miles off. But he worked really hard and by the end of the session was able to do that first half with the heel hooks solid. Yep, turn it out. Yes, Dad, that's it, bump it again. Okay, nice one. Definite progress. And now, it's the rain. In his second session, Dad jumped straight onto the burly second half. He struggled a little bit at first, Ooh. but very quickly managed to link the whole section in one go. That's it, bring the heel across. So now get your left heel on. That's it. You got it. Solid. That's okay. I really think the fashion choice helps with the climbing. The pantaloons. Keep you warm on the upper thigh, cool on the lower thigh. Oh yeah, look at that. I was pretty surprised, and given that he'd managed to do the first section last time, I thought there was a pretty good chance that he could link those two together and get the problem done that session. Right, let's have him try it from the start. Oh, I'm not holding on to anything. No, can't. Well, you did it last time, so you definitely can. I can't, I'll pull up on it. So, somehow, he'd managed to completely forget the beta for the first half and how to use the heel hooks at all. So we ended up spending the rest of the session just getting those moves dialed once again. As we drove home that evening, I thought to myself, surely he'll get it done next session. He's got both halves solid, and he's learnt the first section from scratch twice now. Right, here we go. go on, session Dad. three. Come on, Dad, this is the one. You got it. Come on. Oh no, not again. No. No, no, no. Oh, not like this. Oh, Dad. Somehow, Dad had forgotten the beta for the first half again. It was at this point that I realized his biggest weakness was just his ability to remember beta. Once again, he had to learn all the moves from scratch, but this time I made him rehearse them over and over again in his head, making sure to visualize every single detail. And then right foot goes up for the heel hook that's marked. I have to get that heel hook good and first time. My hope was that this would solidify the beta in his head for long enough that the next session he could just come back and smash out the problem. But to be honest, I really wasn't sure whether it would work. Do you reckon today's Sunday? Uh, yes. Well, here we are, session four. Let's see if he remembers the beta. That's it. I did it, it's at the end. He remembered the beta. It's a miracle. Visualization works. Admittedly, it did camp us through the middle bit instead of using the heel hooks, but you know, we'll take all the wins we can get. By the way, if you've been enjoying the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like. It really helps me out. Thanks. After recovering from my surprise that the visualization had actually worked, I told Dad to rehearse the moves once more in his mind, take a big long break, and then give it everything from the start. Morning has broken Like the first morning Blackbird has spoken like the first bird Praise for the singing Praise for the morning Praise for the springing Fresh from the world
Afterwards, Dad shared a few reflections. I feel like it's nice to complete the problem, but I feel more happy about the amount of learning the problem's given me. Like mm. the movement and technique. Amazing how much it's made me have to think about it. So there you go. That's how my dad climbed his first 7A plus outside.